Lesson 4, identities, t formulas, theory. Now given that t equals 10 theta on 2, show that sine theta equals 2t over 1 plus t squared, cos theta equals 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared, and tan theta equals 2t over 1 minus t squared. Now these are very important formulae, and we'll derive them now. First of all, we'll set up a little, little triangle. Now we know that t equals 10 theta on 2. I'll do is this. Okay, I'll make that theta on 2 there. So this has to be t, opposite of the adjacent. And using the Pythagoras, this is going to be the square root of t squared plus 1. Therefore, we can, need, we can see that if t equals 10 theta on 2, then you know, that sine theta on 2 must be equal to t over the square root of t squared plus 1. And cos theta on 2 must be equal to 1 over the square root of t squared plus 1. Okay, now the first one. And we know that sine 2 theta, sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cos theta. Therefore, the sine of theta must be equal to 2 sine theta on 2 cos theta on 2. So replacing sine theta on 2 with t over it's 2 times t over now this changes around the other way 1 plus t squared same thing times 1 over square root of 1 plus t squared which gives me 2t over 1 plus t squared ok now cos part 2 Cos 2 theta we know as cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. So the cos of theta must be equal to cos squared of theta on 2 minus sine squared theta on 2. And again replacing, we get 1 over, now we square that, we get just 1 plus t squared minus be t squared over 1 plus t squared. Let me square that. Oops, come back here. Square that t squared over 1 plus t squared. And over a common denominator of 1 plus t squared, we get 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared. Okay, now we know that the part 3, now the tan 2 theta equals 2 tan theta over 1 minus tan squared theta. Oops. So the tan of theta must be equal to the 2 tan theta on 2 over 1 minus tan squared theta on 2. And tan theta on 2 is t. So it's 2t over 1 minus t squared. Right, example 1. Use the tan theta on 2 results to prove that cot theta plus tan theta on 2 equals cosec theta. OK, so I'll look at the, uh, the left-hand side. So left-hand side equals cot theta plus tan theta on 2. So t equals tan, oops, tan theta on 2. Now tan theta is 2t over 1 minus t squared. So cot theta must be the reciprocal. So this equals 1 minus t squared over 2t plus t. Of course, that gives me 1 minus t squared plus 
2t squared all over 2t, which gives me 1 plus t squared over 2t, which is 1 over the sine of theta sine theta is 2t over 1 plus t squared which equals cosec theta which equals the right hand side right example 2 use the tan theta on two results to prove that sine theta plus 1 minus cos theta over sine theta minus 1 plus cos theta equals 1 plus tan theta over 2 over 1 minus tan theta on 2. Now looking at the right hand side to begin with, I'll have the right hand side is simply 1 plus t over 1 minus t. Okay, the left hand side is equal to now replace the sine theta with 2t over 1 plus t squared plus 1 minus 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared and the bottom line is 2t over 1 plus t squared minus 1 plus 1 minus t squared over 1 plus t squared So the left hand side is equal to common denominator of 1 plus t squared in the numerator. We'll have 2t plus 1 plus t squared. What's the minus sign? Minus 1 plus t squared over denominator of 1 plus t squared. We're going to get the same denominator down here, so they'll cancel out. So we'll write this as 2t. This will be minus 1 minus t squared. That will be plus 1 minus t squared. Checking that again. Common denominator of 1 plus t squared goes in here. So both those will be negative. It's a plus 1 minus t squared. The denominators here will cancel out. And that will tidy up. So this top line becomes 2t plus 2t squared over and the bottom one becomes 2t minus 2t squared and of course the 2t's come out we get 2t instead of 1 plus t and here we have a 2t outside of 1 minus t so that's equal to oops, 1 plus t over 1 minus t, which equals the right-hand side.